have a permanent residence within the county of Los Angeles or the state of California. Uh, her permanent residence, uh, as listed by her, is in the state of Texas. Her job is a traveling uh, job. She indicates she has uh, future travel plans for the state of Hawaii for her career um, and has numerous contacts throughout the United States. And you're requesting no bail as opposed to the uh, scheduled bail. Um, and can you indicate why? Uh, because of the significance of this case, Your Honor, the number of charges, um, the severity of the charges and the severity of the potential sentence she stands. Um, Nicole Linton there, the 37 year old uh, traveling nurse that was responsible for that horrific car accident in Los Angeles last week. Uh, she was uh, she was in court there as you could see amazingly, only with the bandage on her arm after that horrific accident. Um, so her bail was set at $9 million, the judge also denied her that bail as well. She was the driver of that Mercedes in this uh, video that we've all seen. And if you don't wanna see it again, look away. Let's watch this again, what she did. Now, Nicole Linton's defense team, uh, they were arguing that she's not a flight risk because uh, she also has a home in Los Angeles. But again, I believe she was from Texas as well. So she could uh, bounce around in any other places. And also um, the other part about this, cuz people were saying that she was drunk and in a fight with her boyfriend. And this is what sent her into this uh, horrific uh, mindset that sent her down that hill at that type of speed and into a bunch of other cars. But actually she was actually completely sober at the time is what we were discovering as well, watch. Yes, sir. I guess I'm curious about alcohol. Uh, there is no evidence of any alcohol use at this point. I know that some of you spoke to a woman that alleged they have been drinking together. Uh, the CHP is working to identify this person, but we don't have any further information. On so uh, even crazier, because what I'm sure everyone else, including me, is trying to figure out is I would love to hear her speak and say what was going on. Um, I mean, not that that's going to bring anyone back, but. We're looking for understanding, this is crazy. If you're driving to, ever since that day, Farron, driving to an intersection throughout the city, I'm looking longer than I usually do. And I already kind of look when I've got the green light. And that still, in this type of situation that happened, you still can't foresee it, you still can't avoid it if you happen to be in the wrong place. Yeah, that that is is one of the things that really is so terrifying about what happened is that those individuals who got hit, they, they had no way of reacting at all. Um, so it just instantaneous gone. And, and what gets me about this, you know, yes, we need to wait for the talk screens. We need to see if there was anything in her system. I'm, I'm sure they they did that work. And so obviously it takes a bit to get that info. But more importantly, too, you know, you look back at the driving history, though. I think this individual had what 15 car accidents already 13. on her record in her past. 13. Uh, uh, so you know it. When you're talking about an individual like that, when we see somebody who is just kind of a habitual, I get in accidents all the time, why do we not have a little bit more accountability when it comes to who we license to drive, right? I mean, I know here in my state of Florida, when you go to get your driver's license, you take your driver's test, you pass that, you don't have to do it again ever for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. No matter how many accidents you have. And at the same time, they can actually suspend your license for all kinds of things. You know, <laughs> let me tell you a story from my youth uh, that had nothing to do with driving, wasn't in a car, near a car, around a car, but I was 17 years old. I had a cigarette uh, uh, while on break at McDonald's. Cop walks up, knows I'm underage, gives me a citation. I lost my driver's license for 30 days. For a totally non driving related offense. And then when you see these stories and you know individuals who get in wrecks all the time, they keep their license. It's absolutely mind blowing that we don't have stricter standards in place. You know, make people retake these tests every five to 10 years. Let's do regular screenings to make sure they're, you know, on the level. And I know we have the point system, mm -hmm. but that clearly doesn't work well enough, especially when you can get those points pretty easily removed. And we have to do more to get dangerous drivers off the road. Um, I don't know if that could have prevented this or not, but I do think we could be doing more.
This is the tough part about this as well, because I think probably one of the reasons they don't they don't want more of these tests is look at your state's DMV or a Secretary of State, where you know depending on the state they call it different things, where you get licenses and and uh, registrations and all that. It's always a madhouse, and no one ever yeah. wants to go there. So they're like, oh man, I gotta come back in five years to take this driving test again. I did that at sixteen. It's I feel like it's like that in most states. I took my driver's test at sixteen in the state of Missouri. Uh, I haven't taken one since I live in Los Angeles. <laughs> Just keeping it real. Uh, also, one other part about this. Because there's details about about where uh, Linton's uh, mindset was as all this was happening, maybe leads some more to this. So, uh, graphic three, you guys. Lynn's attorney asked the court on Monday to continue her arraignment to October because she's reviewing her out of state history of documented profound mental health issues. Uh, the attorney did not elaborate on those issues, but said that the Windsor Hills crash could be linked to them. But if not, graphic four, you guys, this is what could happen. She was charged on Monday with six counts of murder and five counts of gross vehicular manslaughter. The vehicular manslaughter charges are for the deaths of four adults and the baby, who was about two weeks shy of his first birthday. Uh, the, uh, the victim's unborn child cannot be included in those charges. Now, lastly, she faces up to life in prison if she's convicted on all these charges. So I don't know what role mental health issues they're trying to get to play in it, but she's facing life in prison and then who knows people for advocates for folks who have to go through some of these issues um, may speak out. I don't know, this could get messier than many folks think, especially when folks just thought it was an argument and a drunk driver. Looks like there's layers to this and even harder to explain how to avoid something like this in the future.